Hi, my name is Dan, and in this short video, we're going to look at the Antiference ASMO2 in DVB-S mode, which is satellite mode. So to access this menu, very simply, you just click on the DVB-S tile in the top left-hand corner, and we access the menu system straight away. Make sure, obviously, you've got your connection into the LMB connection on the top of the meter. Um, and uh, when we enter the menu, we're presented with um, various bits of information. Down the left-hand side, we've got our preset satellites. Um, these are pre-built into the meter. Um, they can be amended, changed. You could add new ones. We can add new ones. Um, so, um, but if you wanted to make any changes, uh, for example, on the fly, you can press and hold and then up will come a pop-up menu and then you can click add if you wanted to add a new one you could rename the existing one you can make changes to the satellite position etc within this pop-up window See equally um, when we select for example Astra 2 for the satellite you'll see all the transponders are listed uh, down that side you could scroll through them uh, again if you wanted to make a change on the fly press and hold and up pops the pop-up window and you can make changes within this menu on the right hand side of the screen we've got all our signal uh, readings, so we've got our MER, um, our CBER, VBER etc, quality readings, um, So, and, and of course uh, so most importantly I suppose is our signal strength down at the bottom. The smiley face is there which indicates that we have a lock on that particular transponder um, and we've got our modulation information at the bottom as well. Bottom right hand corner and we have our search button, so if you press the big magnifying glass it pops up with the pop-up menu where you can set your scan mode. So once we've got our dish in the right position then we can then scan for channels and then view them in TV mode. So there is a video on TV mode about how we carry this out, so do check that one out, that's in the same playlist on, on our YouTube channel. Um, we can also click this plus in the bottom corner um, and that will show us the sort of bounce of the, the signal strength coming in as you can see it's just basically just a, a scan and if there is a, a sort of fluctuation then you'll see that in this menu. Use the red arrow button to go back and now we're going to look at the, the various uh, pages that we have within satellite mode. Um, so click on the um, on the spectrum button and immediately we've got a spectrum uh, running there which you can see in real time which is what's bobbling about. At the top you can see our local oscillator is set to 9750. If you want to see the IF band and then click on that and then click on none, click done and now we can see the intermediate frequencies um, within the band. So if you watch the terrestrial video um, or DVB-T video you'll see that you can scroll, um, has the same mode with inspection function, you can scroll across, select a particular frequency and it will give you the signal strength there uh, while it's running. Along the bottom uh, we've got a uh, fairly self-explanatory, I think. We've got the range, which en enables you to expand or contract the view that you can see. So you can obviously view more or less of the band, depending on what you're, you're doing. Um, you can obviously adjust the voltage and the tone so that you can select a specific band uh, or polarity. And in the bottom right-hand corner, you can do a freeze frame. So you can click stop and it will freeze. So if we go back to the main uh, DVBS menu and we're going to move on through the other icons one by one. The next page is the constellation page. So this is just displaying the signal coming in in constellation mode um, and has various other bits of information as well. So you can select a particular transponder from this menu and view its constellation uh, should you wish. The next menu is quite an important one because it's about LMB type and switch type and things like that. We can adjust the tone in this menu and we can uh, trigger LMB power on and off in this menu, similarly as we can do with inspection mode. Down the bottom, or down, as we get near the bottom, you'll see there's a DSCR mode. So if you are analysing DSCR systems, and you can select that button, and you can pick a particular user band, and then when you're happy which user band you're analysing, you just click done. And just as an example, if we jump back into spectrum mode, we'll now see that one user band in DSCR mode that we've selected. The last option on this menu, uh, as you can see, we can actually have control of the motor as well if we want to. So, we've also got an angle calculation mode, which is quite a nice feature. You'll see when you um, activate this menu, the first thing it's asking you to do is to flip the meter to calibrate. So, when you go grab your meter like this, you're going to flip it over, and then back, and then over, and then back. And now, magically, you will see the angle calculation has now appeared. So we can use this to get our dish in the correct position. Finally, um, and quite importantly I think, 
is our data log function. This can be modified and amended depending on what transponders you're working with. So, um, but there is another video on this um, purely on data logging. So check that out. It's in the same series on YouTube um, as this. Do check out the other videos um, on, on this playlist. Um, and if you want more information, there's uh, more information on our um, website, which is antiferments.co.uk. Thank you.